Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> yes, this is another mask. Uh, but this is a wolf mask, uh, which I found on Thingiverse. I'll put a link in the description if I remember. And uh, today, I'm going to paint it. So, let's get on with it. So, uh, this is going to be probably slightly different from my normal videos because uh, I want to get on and get this done and usually when I'm filming something while I'm painting it, it makes things take a lot longer. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do is I'll kind of just get on and do this and I'll just film it as I'm going along. Uh, so there probably won't be a lot of sort of voiceover and stuff but I might add some like afterwards. Do it in post as they say. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... Uh, do this to it's kind of based on the gray wolf uh, so I'll put some reference pictures up that I've been looking at and uh, yeah so I'm going to use a variety of uh, Tamiya grays and tans and things to do it but uh, I'll get on with it and um, you can just follow along at home so yeah first step is going to be our old favorite XF55 deck tan so I'll use that to do like a base coat over the whole thing. Right, so I'm just going to start off by giving the whole thing a coat of the uh, deck tan, just to give us a, a nice base layer. Uh, so yeah, I'll just do the whole thing and uh, that will give us something to start off with. So there we go, nice easy base coat. Now we're going to move on to a darker grey and uh, create some variation in the tone. So I'm basically doing uh, like the, the top of the nose and uh, around the cheeks and things like that. Um, if you think back to our reference pictures, the faces tend, really tend to be uh, quite light and then darken as it moves back towards the rest of the head. And uh, yeah, same on the other side. And now I'm going to use an even darker grey and uh, start create some some shading uh, in the various sort of darker parts. Um, it's just really just going into the recesses and uh, and just darkening them up a bit, just to create some sort of tonal variations. And now I'm going to go in with this uh, NATO black and I'm going to do the nose, the lips, and I'm also going to do some further shading uh, just right in the deepest recesses and things like that to create some nice shadow lines to, uh, you know, give us the effect that we're looking for. There we go. As you can see, it's starting to look pretty good already. So, uh, the next step after this, we're going to start looking at uh, at the mouth, the teeth, and whatnot. So, I'm just going to use some uh, normal craft acrylic for this. Um, this is a, an opaque, so it's a good one to do. So, I'll just use a brush and uh, just go around and paint all of the teeth. Uh, they'll actually take a couple of coats to get a decent cover, but uh, it's easy enough. By the time you've got round to one side, the, the first side is dry and you can just go back and just do it again. So, all very simple stuff. So there we go, and I'll just do all of the teeth like that. Now I'm going to use this uh, clear yellow 
and just go around the edges of the teeth just to create a little bit of staining. Um, it's not really necessary because all of the reference pictures I looked at, the, um, the wolves seem to have very clean teeth, which is good for them. But uh, it was really just to, you know, create an, a, a little bit more interest and a, a little splash of color. So there you go. And now I'm going to use the uh, pink to do the gums. So again, I'll just put that on with a brush. And uh, again, it will take a couple of coats, but um, it's uh, it's a fairly straightforward process. I was actually surprised looking at the reference pictures just how pink these wolves' gums are. So I was a bit worried this pink might be a bit bright, but in fact, it probably could have done with being a little bit brighter. But I didn't want it to look um, too over the top. So, but there you go. You see, I think that's uh, that's about the right uh, the right level that we're looking for. And now I'm going to give the whole thing a light dry brush with this um, buff titanium, which is also known as ivory. So again, just to pick up some highlights and uh, just give us another another sort of little bit of shading just to provide some interest. The brush came from the early learning center <laughs> actually works really well for doing big areas like this but there you go it's all starting to sort of come together now and next i'm going to give the whole thing a coat of this uh high coat clear lacquer and that will give us a good base for the next step which is a bit of uh oil shading so this is a crawford and black oil paint and what I'm going to do is just go in round the edges of the teeth. And again, from looking at the reference pictures, the uh, the teeth have a, a very distinct like black shadow line where they meet the gums. Um, so I'll just go round it with a brush like this first and, and put the paint in there. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go in with a variety of tools, cotton buds and tissue paper and whatever it takes really, uh, just to remove the excess and kind of make sure it's really forced into that into that groove into that gap and just kind of feather it in so that there's no sort of hard hard lines it's um just blend it all together a little bit so again cotton buds i also use some makeup applicators as well they're really good you can get them from the pound shop or dollar store or wherever you go and um they're like little plastic sticks with a foam applicator on the top and they work really well for this as well and then just go over the top of it afterwards with a, a piece of tissue paper just to uh, remove any excess. So easy as that. And you can see that gives a nice defined edge to the teeth. And that's with all of them done. So as you can see it looks uh, looks pretty good. Very pleased with how this is coming out. Now I'm going to seal the whole thing with some uh, matte lacquer. So just give it a couple of coats of that over the whole thing inside and out just to seal everything together. And then the last step is to go in with this X22 gloss varnish and just basically do the nose, the lips uh, and the teeth and gums just to uh, make them glisten a bit. So just to make them look a little bit more realistic. And uh, that's pretty much the whole thing done. So I think we can wrap this up now. And here is our finished article. I'm very pleased with how this one came out. Uh, it's, uh, it took about two days to print. Um, but yeah, it's come out really well. So it's another one to add to the collection, the ever-growing collection. I've got a, a couple of others that I've been uh, looking at as well. So... Yeah, hopefully this is something that's of interest to some of you. If there are any particular masks and things you'd like to see, by all means, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, come and join us on Facebook in the Staff Canteen. And uh, if you're feeling particularly flush, you can always come and support me on uh, on Patreon. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.